screening for resistance in plants or a variety against a particular pathogen is always a challenge and a difficult job for the plant pathologist because if he wants to evaluate the resistance when in a whole plant against a particular pathogen then he has some uh, practical limitations one of the limitation is that he needs a large pool of healthy plants on which he is going to perform his experiment so that it is statistically reliable secondly in order to inoculate uh, this large chunk of the plants he needs a large amount of inoculum thirdly the space is also an issue because if you are if you inoculate the plants in the greenhouse or the glass house there is always a chance that the pathogen not confined to these experimental plants but it travel to the other plants and may also cause disease which you or the other people who are working in the glass house or the green house not wanted uh, the fourth issue is that is the maintenance of disease favorable conditions because, especially in terms of humidity as well as the temperature if uh, these favorable conditions are not maintained then they definitely affect your results so in order to meet all these challenges over the period of time plant pathologists develop a very simple but yet a very robust method in order to evaluate the resistance in the plant against the particular pathogen in this method you don't need a whole plant rather the healthy leaves of the uh, plants and for that uh, that is the reason this method is known as leaf detach method uh, why it is called leaf detach method because you separate the healthy leaves from the parent plant and do the experiment on these detach leaves the requirement of this in experiment include the healthy detached leaves of same size and age the leaves must be apparently healthy because if the leaves are under this stress whether abiotic or biotic they will affect the results of the experiment the second thing is the inoculum this experiment can use both for the evaluation of plants against the bacteria as well as the fungi but the age and the amount of inoculum matter in case of bacteria the inoculum age must be between 24 to 48 hours while the fungal culture uh, must be 7 days old because uh, after the 7 days you can get the spores which can be used as a inoculum uh, the third thing is the petri dish uh, the size of the petri dish is directly proportional to the size of the leaves Uh, then the sterilized filter papers these filter papers are used uh, to create a humid uh, chamber inside the petri dish one paper is placed at the bottom of the petri dish while the other paper is placed under the lid so that a humid chamber is created uh, then the sterilized distilled water is also needed and in order to place or inject the inoculum you need syringe or the dropper syringe is needed when you are going to inoculate the bacterial uh, culture or the dropper is needed when you are going to place spores on the leaves here is the student who is uh, performing the leaf detach method in order to screen the tomato varieties against the bacterial pathogen if you look closely he is injecting the bacterial inoculum in the tomato leaves uh, it is always advisable to use more than uh, five leaves per treatment so that your result uh, statistically remain viable and if you look uh, closely you can also notice 
that here are the petri dishes on which the filter paper is placed uh, not only at the base but also at the lid so that uh, uh, when these filter paper are moist uh, then uh, a kind of humid chamber is created once he finish his inoculation he put the leaves on these filter papers but it is always advisable to use the negative control in case of negative control just simple a uh, distilled water is injected uh, in the leaves not the bacterial culture uh, the second is the uh, grape leaves uh, on this grape leaf uh, the inoc uh, fungal inoculum which is in the form of spore is placed with the help of uh, dropper but uh, make sure that whether you are using the injection or whether you are using the dropper the amount the, uh, of the inoculum received by the leaves must be remain same here is the outcome of the leaf detach uh, method uh, you can cl uh, clearly see uh, in case of uh, uh, tomato plant those uh, uh, leaves which are inoculated with the bacterial culture uh, first become yellow and later they also uh, become necrotic while those leaves uh, which are inoculated with the sterilized water and consider as a negative control remain green despite uh, the there was a high humidity and these uh, petri dish were placed in a in uh, incubator uh, whose temperature is favoring the uh, pathogen on the other side you can see the leaf which is on on which uh, sterilized water is put remain the green but the leaf of the grapes on which the fungal uh, spores are uh, placed uh, they become black or they become dead so leaf detach method uh, is a replica of the inoculation which is uh, done in the whole plant but always remember that the leaf detach method is only acceptable or viable for those pathogen which attack the aerial parts of the plants especially the leaves this method is not for those pathogens which attack the underground parts of the plant for example uh, the pathogen which cause the root rots and those pathogens which uh, target the vascular tissue such as the, the wilt pathogens so i hope at uh, this point uh, we have a basic idea how the leaf detach method works but uh, uh, pathologist always advise that along with the leaf detach method it would be best that the experiment also should be done on the whole plant and the results of both leaf detach method and the whole uh, uh, plant inoculation must be compared. Thank you.